My god, country again, uh, very fun again. Country on this album has been just perfect and genius so far. Perfect acoustic guitar, in my opinion. It sounds crisp, it sounds nice. It has a perfect um, chord progression right here. Good drumming while just being in the back of the mix, in my opinion. Strings kind of like all over the place. They are just uh, sometimes like playing uh, way too like uh, fast, maybe sometimes just way too fiddly. I don't know, it's kind of all over the place. But I like it. They seem like a main instrument, so here, so that can happen. If that would happen to a, like a background instrument, it would be feel like something's missing. But I don't think it feels right now like something is missing. So I think that's pretty nice. Um, so the song songwriting is just so much fun. Uh, plus the lyrics, so much fun. I don't know. And that's my grandma. Yeah, that's your grandma right there. Yeah. Yeah, awesome track. Uh, very good track. Very good. This is like top notch country, in my opinion. Yeah, I liked it. Next track, Dried Roses. Let's fur because window frost, heat loss, dried roses. In the silence again, dried roses. Half dead, half away. It's not too much of a long track. Again, a single songwriter track for this album. No addition to that. This album really doesn't drag on at all so far because of so many genres that are put in here. And the strings are a good addition to this one. Backing vocals, I'm a little bit on the fence with. But yeah. The song lyrics um, are pretty random, but still entertaining. Um, like songwriting can be random if they are still entertaining I think if they still manage to do that it's alright so yeah I still like this track let's just finish this one okay let's continue with no reason It's a very different feeling from the previous tracks on this album, a more relaxed and vibey and very flowerish vibe, even maybe summery, I don't really know, it has a Beatles vibe, but um, way more calm, and very bare bone. Fruit is, an, is a very weird new addition that I kind of like, but also, uh, I don't know. It feels like a nice addition, but also kind of weird to have a flute in this. I don't really know, maybe I'm not a flute guy. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, it feels weird, but is a nice addition to the sound overall. So I appreciate that. It's a good track, but not one of the better ones, really. Um, I like this uh, instrumental outro right here. It has a very nice guitar um, solo right there together with the flute, which kind of like really romanticizes together as a two instrument duo right here, which I kind of really like as, a, uh, as an end right here for this track, so I really like that. I don't know 
what to think about this one right now. Uh, very straightforward begin. It's a uh, beginner of the track. Especially the analog drums are just really weird. I don't really know. They're not really that good in my opinion. Like, I am always a little bit criticizing analog drums that kind of um, sounds like that very lo-fi and uh, weird. Uh, the accordion in the back is a nice addition uh, um, again with some other instruments and has a nice vibe to it. Um, uh, the guitar sounds awful, especially the one at the left, plus the production is pretty weird, the mixing is not really full. But anyways, let's continue. I really like the singing, especially the chorus with the double vocals right there in the backing. Uh, I really enjoyed that. That's a very nice chorus right there. That, that has a beautiful feeling to it. Um, that's the only part really I call good on this track. The rest is a little bit meh. Um, but yeah. I like to Yeah, I still don't like the analog drums right there. Uh, pretty mid track. Um, but let's just get to the next one. I can never build the ether or the grass overgrown. I can never build the river with a mouthful of foam. Clasping to the listening. It is a very nice acoustic track right here, and the singing is just beautiful. That's uh, one of the best voice kind of like mixing I heard by Adriana on this album. A very sweet and full track. It just feels so full while they, it's just a singer song, right? It was just acoustic guitar and her voice, but it has a very good chorus that doesn't um, destroy the vibe of this track by going like straight into the chorus as a main part or something it stays at the same volume which is pretty nice and keeps on the gentle feeling to it it's very nice i really like the songwriting right here it's very um kind of like getting you in really into the feeling she wanted to convey here with like talking about the nature she's in right there and it's just so nice, especially the first verse where she just describing the nature besides her, which is very nice and it just drags on with that. I love the great track. The mind, the shimmer, the beach leaves, as the wind does a big sneeze. I can never. good track i really like that one very gentle very nice sweet good trick let's get to the 16th track 12,000 lines It's a very slow and gentle track again, uh, not the most instrumental ambitious track so far, which doesn't really make it bad. Uh, I just think that it makes it very skeletal because the vocals are also not really like um, you would expect it from Adrienne because Adriano, if she's just like using her acoustic guitar, she's mostly very vocally uh, wide and nicely just entertaining to um, get the track into a very forward um, feeling. But this one is just really into the lyrics. I really got into that one. I thought they were pretty nice. And I kind of really think 12,000 lines just gives you the feeling of like waiting and just longing for something because the sound of this track is also like longing for something because it's very empty, there is not much. So you really get into the feeling of the lyrics. So it kind of works, but also not. So I think this track is good, but not the greatest. So yeah, there are only four tracks left, the album. This is great so far. I'm really into this album, so yeah. So yeah, come on, let's finish up this album 
with the last four tracks um, one of them is Stimulation Swarm quite a quite a popular one of this album one of the most popular one so yeah quite excited Very nice build up to the chorus, very nice sound right here, very kind of like art rocky even, but more, more into a very relaxed folkish way. I really love that um, it has a very nice vibe from the vocals, this is one of the best vocals I heard all the album by Adrian Lenka right here, it's really nice. And I also really like the songwriting right here, it's very, um, very like in your face with all these like um, poems maybe you could think, uh, tell that these are poems but they just feel so uh, picture -y. you can really like imagine how she's like talking about this stuff and you just see all of these things right in front of your eyes it's really nice and i really like it and i also really like the chorus it got some really nice flow right there um love the sound overall just really pleasant track right here Before we get into the really hard part right here, um, to build up in, again, build up again, more structured into the lyrics. Um, again, the chorus is amazing. I really like the f just lovely vibe right here. Like, I want to drop my arms and take your arms and walk into the shore. I fly to you tomorrow. I'm not fighting in this war. It's just, uh, if I would compared to an uh, artist with the songwriting even if it sounds dumb kind of like break country new road uh, like kind of like reminds me of like tracks of chaos bass marine maybe track x um yeah i just really love it i love the songwriting on this one it's really good and damn just look at, just listen to this part right here damn I Really trippy end right there with a very um, weirdly mixed acoustic guitar. Is it acoustic guitar? It sounds like one, just a really compressed one. But I really like the sound right there. Awesome, awesome ending, awesome outro. Yeah, I'm a love with this track right there. Okay, next track, love, love, love. Okay, uh, really weird intro right there. What was that? The half second fragment at the start of this track sounds like Ariana singing The Light is as this refrain. Yeah, but why? So it's from the same session? Anyways. Sonically, I would say it's a really weird mixed track, um, a weird kind of instrumentation right there. Some instruments you can't really recognize at first, but only if you really um, just really focus on every single aspect right there, you can um, pick out every instrument. Not a huge fan, 
but I really like the sound already, especially her vocals again. She kind of like sounds like more country-ish, um, but still has this folkish, weirdly rocky um, instrumentation right here, which is really interesting to me. And also the songwriting is again uh, very adrenaline, <laughs> but more abstract. Obviously, it's about love, 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 love. Like she got this bottle on the, off the sea with the matches inside, releasing my love. So she's releasing her love, whereas she's beginning all love. Yeah, tell you that I need your love, blah blah blah, and then, then she says, Nah, release it. Okay, let's continue and get to the break. <laughs> When I think about it, the guitar, the break right here really sounds tortured and just like ripped apart in these little segments. Like it's not a really solely or a solo right there. It's just like this ripped apart main guitar of all the things that uh, were before, which is kind of from the songwriting part, kind of genius if you ask me. I don't know why. It kind of like really. Um, is perfect for these kind of like lyrics from before and like at the verse tree coming in right there, which is awesome. Yeah, this track is awesome. Uh, Sound is great. Uh, the kind of screamish voice at the end, right there, was "Release My Love," uh, which is like telling these two covers again. Awesome, awesome progression of the songwriting. Kind of like lost me at the beginning, right there, was especially with the intro and going into the first verse. But still great. I love this one. Yeah, love, 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 love this one. Hey, hey, hey. Funny. Next one, the only place, the 19th trick, second last trick, let's go. To one single place and intertwine the human race with other kinds. Be a call to know, embrace the world, so much to share, so much to share. Well, I like the songwriting right here, but I'm not really a fan of the instrumentation right here and the acoustic guitar only right there. I don't know why, but it just feels disconnected to the vocals right here. Alright, so, um, also I'm not really a fan of the chorus right here. This sound even feels more um, disconnected to the to every other aspect as this track right here I don't know why she did that right there or they um, yeah I don't really know what to tell you about this track right here I'm just really torn about on this one here uh, songwriting is has some interesting parts but I can't digest any right now, or pull apart any. Um, it kind of reminds me of like some previous singer songwriter tracks from the instrumentations, not the instrumentations, but more of the songwriting, but a little bit more abstract and literally. Uh, yeah, anyways, let's finish this one. Yeah, can admit, one of my least favorite tricks until now, so whatever. Last trick. Let's finish this up. What else does Big C has to offer for this armor? How a banger right there at the end. It's called like a banger. Blue lightning. 
the lightning is a banger, so let's look what does it have to offer. Yeah, that's what I like to f hear. <laughs> Anyways. When they are doing country, country just sounds awesome. It's in the noisy guitars, the drumming is insanely good. Her vocals are always perfect for these ones. Also, like um, it's a track spot infinity, great, really great. I love this one. And um, also, <laughs> the songwriting is kind of funny. I don't know why. <laughs> this morning I went to have a bath. The water went dry. Clear warning. Has it come at last? It's time to say goodbye. Can we make love cameo advice? I really want to try. I don't know why I think her songwriting is just so good. I just love to just listen to it and read through it. It always has a really suitable vibe for it and I just really enjoy it. So yeah. I also really love the addition of the instruments at the back end of the track right there. It's really awesome. I love the sound of all great track right here. Gorgeous end. Really nice end. Best way to end this up in my opinion. So I really like this one. Let's finish this album up. Let's finish this track up. So yeah, that was Dragon New Warm Out and I Believe in You by Big Thief. Uh, great album. So many different genres, so many different styles, so many different feelings and just pictures, Adriana Lenka paints, great drumming overall, so different styles of drumming and rhythms right there. The guitars are always different, sometimes noisy, sometimes gentle acoustics, really great, I love it. Sometimes you got some different instrumentation just pulled in there, sometimes you just get a, like some country-ish editions and so on yeah there are a lot of tricks i love a lot of tricks there are only a few i have a problems with i can just um, show you these two at my hands there are only two there are two tricks that i think that are underwhelming wake me up to drive and la uh, and the only place these are the only ones then there are some that are just think only good it's really interesting how so many tracks can be so good so many different styles and this album is so long 80 minutes and it doesn't drag on at all like Fantano said in this review I now really see what he means with that yeah uh, so many tracks that are worth being at my top list at the end of the year um, I think this album will even grow me even more in maybe the next couple of months the next couple of years I don't know so yeah, I think I'm going to give this a rating now. So I think this is this album deserves a decent to strong line. So yeah, that's it. <laughs>